Hey guys, YouTube Drone Doctor here, and let's talk real quickly about the very popular Pokemon game. It's July 2016. Um, yes, I have kids, and yes, I'm very familiar with the Pokemon game and everyone trying to get an edge on hatching their eggs by attaching their phone to their drone and flying around to add up um, their steps quickly so that they can hatch those eggs. The reason for this video is I've seen a lot of different ideas out there and some of them are ingenious and some of them are just flat out hazardous and you're going to set yourself up for failure because they're doing it just to laugh at you for the failure to see how dumb some people are going to be. One video I saw in particular, they were telling people to take their phone and duct tape it and they were actually doing it, uh, duct taping it directly to the top of their craft. and thinking that that was not going to interfere with their GPS system on their, um, it was actually a DJI product, and how they were able to do that and not interfere with their props, it, it, was, it was astounding. But anyway, um, they had a failure and the bird crashed into the side of their house uh, and they were trying to figure out why. Well, the reason why is because this interferes with your GPS. And anytime that you get this phone, close to a UAV, you have the potential, not every time, but you have the potential to have this interfere with the guidance system, the GPS system, the trans video transmission from your transmitter to the bird, all those things can be inhibited by the transmission from your phone, regardless whether it's Android, whatever, uh, iOS, whatever it is. Anyway, the other alternative that I, I had to get this video up and tell you, I saw some pretty stuff, some pretty ingenious stuff, um, the most important thing is that you have to remember to keep this away from your UAV. There's one gentleman in particular that was really took this to an extreme and he had an emulator which with a GPS unit on his drone, he was flying this thing out and it was tricking, um, I'm not going to go into how he did it, but it was actually tricking the phone to think that the phone was in a different location through the GPS system, through the emulator. Uh, he was actually able to pull it up onto a screen and he was trying to capture all these different points. The problem is, is that you need a very long range antenna, which is like this DBS antenna, to get those long distances with your Wi-Fi because once you get out past that 1500 foot range or so, you really lose that signal to your router. And even using this, is it really worth all that? I mean, the whole point of the game is to get out there and really try to move and get yourself, uh, get your lazy ass off the couch and out there and moving around. This just helps those that are already doing the hobby and flying around, you've already got to the remote location and you wanna put a couple extra steps on there. Do I think it's really cheating that much? Eh, you be the judge. I'm just here to tell you that there's a better way to do this so that you guys don't get hurt. One of the things that I saw was really, really kind of ingenious. This was attached to a fishing line type uh, mount and then the fishing line he had run to his UAV. So the UAV was, the fishing line was attached to that. It was brought down out here in front. They were about five feet apart. The UAV took off and when it got over the phone, it lifted the phone up and he flew around his little field and his, and his farm and he was racking up um, miles or kilometers to hatch his eggs. When it was time to come back in, he came over and he landed and what he did by landing, he put his phone down here and then he landed off to the side. One of the things to keep in mind though is that fishing line cable that goes from here to your UAV, you need to keep that tight. Now, if that fishing line gets entangled into your rotors, you're going to have an awful mess. Um, does that mean that you go over and you catch your drone after the phone comes down or you try to catch them both off with two different people? That's up to you to decide. The most important thing is that they have to be separated. But is there a best way to do this? Yeah, the best way to do this is to put this thing on your dog and let your dog run around uh, with this attached to the back of his collar or whatever, or, or a harness, uh, that seems a lot safer. But the reason for this video is, again, is not to condone using any of these, these means of doing it. It's just to tell you, don't attach this to your drone. You're going to be sorry. Uh, the Blade 350 was a perfect example. You know, the, the GoPros on these Blade 350s, the QX, I lost three of them. You know, another one flew away with the GoPro attached. We had all the foil around it and all the, all the safety precautions, we put foil and copper around it, it still somehow caused interference and the thing is bye-bye. Um, you know, don't let that happen to you. These things are still electronic, they put out signals and they can fail. So again, have fun, fly safe. If you're gonna go out and test it, make sure you're out in a, lo a location that's away from everyone. Don't do it at the park. 
Don't do it where your drone can fly away and actually hurt someone. Do it in a very remote location if you want to go out and test this. Uh, be careful. Be safe. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Thanks for the thumbs up. I hope this entertained you or at least brought a smile on a couple people's faces. And I'll see you in the next video.